Dear women, one thing that has killed your love life is fear. Let me tell you something. Oftentimes, men don't break your heart. Fear makes you break your own heart. Women, come closer. Do you know that most of us are the problems in our relationship? Because of fear. Sometimes a man does not hurt us. We use our own hand and spoil a lot of good things that come into our lives because we are afraid. It is fear that bears insecurity. When you see yourself acting a certain way, nagging, shouting, being insecure, being overpossessive, acting like a mad woman, it is fear. A lot of you are so afraid to open up your heart. You're always suspicious. It is fear that bears trust issues. A lot of you have trust issues because you are afraid. You are afraid of being hurt. You are afraid of the past coming back to you. Some of you have been in crazy relationship. You don't want it to repeat itself again. So you are afraid. And when you live with fear, you will always make mistakes. Because when you live in fear, you will always be suspicious. You will always be walking on eggshells. You will never believe anything. You will always be fighting everything. That's what happened to a lot of women. I just want to tell you that there is love and a lot of men actually love you and have given you so much love, but fear has made you destroy everything they give you. If we want to be honest with ourselves and drop the blame games, men are not that bad. A lot of men who come into your life are not as bad as you paint them. It is fear that has made you spoil a lot of beautiful relationships that have come into your life. That's why I'm here to tell you that it's time to conquer that fear. Fear will make you lose beautiful things. Fear will make you stagnant. Fear will make you feel less of yourself. Fear will make you insecure. Fear will make you bitter. Fear will make you envy. Fear will make you a nagging woman. And that's why I want to teach you how to conquer that fear. Come closer. I used to be one woman that was so afraid to love because of my past experience. I got married at a very young age. Of 18 I got divorced at 21 when I came out of my previous marriage I became so scared you know when you date people you already have perception you start thinking that everybody's like the person that you dated I had to conquer that fear because every man who came into my life I felt the man was my ex-husband I felt the man was coming to use me I felt the man was coming to rob me I didn't open up my heart and the only time you can love and be loved is when your heart is open. If you don't have an open heart, you can't love. You will always be suspecting everybody coming around you like a thief. That's why most of your relationship don't work. Before the man even say, I love you, you have already told yourself there is a lie. Everything to you is a lie. And it baffled me sometimes how a lot of women feel that the man is lying. They are still dating them. A lot of you are in a relationship that within yourself, you've already told yourself that is a lie, that it will not work. Some of you have spoiled the relationship even before it started. In your mind, you've already said, ah, this one no go work. I just did the marriage. Fear. Let me teach you how to conquer that fear. And the easiest way to conquer fear is to heal. A lot of you women that are jumping into relationship and marriage today, you are broken. So many damaged women longing to get married. Do you know why you are always wishing to get married? Trust me, it's not because you're looking for love or you need a man. Mm -mm. A lot of you beautiful women who want to get married don't know what marriage is all about. The reason why you want to rush and get married is fear. You are constantly looking for someone to validate you. You're constantly looking for someone that's going to make you feel good about yourself. Fear. You are afraid to look at yourself in the mirror. You are afraid to face yourself. So most times, a lot of you women marry for distraction, not for love. And that's why when you get into this relationship and marriage, it becomes worse. Some of you have gotten married. You are more broken. Many of you women are not happy in your marriage. Not because marriage is not beautiful, but because you always marry wrong. You've married a lot of people that you don't love, that you don't care about. You are just there just because you are afraid of being alone. You are afraid of being by yourself. You are afraid of facing reality. You are afraid of your own growth. 
You are afraid of your own being. You can't even look yourself in the mirror. That is why I want to tell you to heal. Some of you are too afraid to heal. The only way you can conquer fear is to go and heal. What is the meaning of healing? Going back to the drawing board and absorbing yourself. First of all, understanding who you are. Remember that any man that you are running into his life to marry you or to love you is coming for you. If you don't have an identity, the man is going to impose himself on you. You become a shadow. A lot of you are just shadows of your boyfriends and your husbands. It's because you don't have an identity. Because you've not healed. Some of you don't even know what you like. That's why a man can treat you anyhow and you'll be there. It's because you don't even know what you like. You don't know your left to your right. Some of you don't even know when somebody is treating you wrong. Because you don't like yourself enough. Anything anybody does to you, you will take it. Because you don't love yourself enough to know right from wrong. No. That's the reason why you're constantly depressed, suicidal. You are constantly bitter. That's the reason why you can't even teach your husband how to treat you. You can't even teach your boyfriend how to treat you. That's the reason why you take nonsense. That's the reason why you don't grow. It's because you are afraid of yourself. I'm begging you. Relationship and marriage is very beautiful. One of the most beautiful things that God created. But it is fear that makes it look as if it's so bad. When you come and hear people talk about all their relationship and marriage story of how the man and nana, a lot of women are so afraid. They have not opened up their hearts. You need to go and heal. Healing is so underrated in this part of the world. Everybody just wants to jump into another person's life. That's the reason why you're always bleeding. That's the reason why they're always using you. That's the reason why you're always damaged. It's because you've not found time to heal. A lot of you underrate self-discovery. If you don't discover yourself and know what you like and what you don't like, then you don't understand the meaning of love. When people come into your life, they want to work with you. They want to work with who you are. Who are you? If you don't have an identity, people will be using you and abusing you. You'll be complaining, yet you'll be fine. A lot of you women just stay and you complain, 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 complain. If they even ask a lot of you women, what do you want? You don't know. You just know that what this person is doing to me is not right. Okay, how do I treat you right? You don't know. That is because you don't have an identity. It is identity that will make you know that I don't like this thing this person is doing to me. The person needs to stop. It is identity that will make you withdraw. It is identity that gives you respect. And that's what a lot of you women are lacking. That's why a lot of men will continue to debase you, use you, and dump you. A lot of men keep feeling that they are doing you a favor by marrying you because they know that you don't like yourself. Yes, many men know that a lot of women do not like themselves. They're just looking for where to go and hide. That's why it looks as if when these men marry you, it's as if they are helping your life. No. When you have an identity, you understand that you're not, a man is not helping your life. It's a win-win. Before a man says he wants to marry you and keep you in his house, or a man says he wants to date you, there is something he has seen in you. But because you don't even see it in yourself, you always think that people are doing you a favor. Some of you always think that people are helping you when they come to you. No. Growth is when you understand your ability. You understand that anybody that is coming to you is coming to you for something. You are, there's something you have to offer. But most of you have not understood your ability. Whenever you come close, you think that somebody is doing you a favor by coming close to you. That's not how it's supposed to be. Women, you need to wake up and conquer that fear. The fear is eating you up. It's taking away your identity. Look at how beautiful you are. Just look at you. I want you to go to the mirror and look at your beautiful self. I know you are so afraid of the mirror. You don't like what you see. But anything you see in the mirror is your reflection and you can fix it. Yes, you can. You're beautiful. You don't even know how innovative you are. Everything you are, you can unlearn and relearn. No matter who you are today or how you feel about yourself, that is what you know. You can unlearn it. You can be born in a poor place and decide not to be poor. Let me tell you something. Many of us were not born with silver spoon. We were not as intelligent as this. All these things we know today, our parents did not teach us. We learned it. 
we went all out of our way to ask questions of who we are. We learned it. We absorbed it. We became a better version of ourselves. It's called self-discovery. And as a beautiful woman, you need to have an identity. If you don't have an identity, men will take you for granted. Men will mess you up. Men will play with you like football. They will not value you. They will continue to abuse you. That's why I'm begging you. It's time to conquer that fear and go look straight into the mirror. Tell yourself, I'm beautiful. I'm productive. I was created in this world for a reason, for a purpose. Those of you who are Christians, if you read your Bible, God said, I made you out of my own image. There is nothing that is made out of God's image that is useless. So you are not useless like people make you feel. Conquer that fear and find your identity. When you find your identity, that's where you find your power. A lot of people often ask me, Blessing, how come you're so strong? How come you're so confident? My strength comes from inside. I know who I am. That's why people hardly break me. That's who you need to be as a woman. I love you. And I see a lot of women battling with their self-esteem. I see a lot of women battling with their confidence. I see a lot of women battling with their self. A lot of women hate their self so much. If you don't like yourself, how can you give love? That's why the Bible said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Some of you don't even love yourself, so you cannot even love your neighbor. It's time to go back to the drawing board. And that's why I'm reminding you to conquer all those fear. Love is beautiful. Marriage is beautiful. Trust me, when you conquer those fears, you begin to make right choices. The reason why they keep breaking your heart and messing you up is the people you keep choosing. You keep choosing idiots. Because a lot of you women feel less of yourself. Anybody that comes to you, you will agree. When you discover yourself and find your identity, you begin to select. You begin to choose. Your peace of mind and your sanity becomes more important to you. You begin to value yourself. You begin to take care of yourself. A lot of you accept any man into your life and any idiot into your life because you don't even understand what self what is. If you understand what self what is, you will run from some men. Ah, because you value yourself. You will wait for the right man who deserves you to come. That is what conquering your fear does. It gives you a beautiful and a sanit and it, it gives you a beautiful and a sanctifying identity. You will feel peace inside your inner being. I love you. And that is why I always take my time to want to teach you. I see a lot of beautiful women struggling with their identity. Look yourself in the mirror. You can conquer it. Okay. I thought I should do you a gentle reminder. Don't forget that it's okay to talk.